Hi, and welcome to the third part of HTML course. We learned HTML document structure in the previous video, and now we are going to explore HTML tags or elements one by one that we use to create a website structure. The element that we are going to discuss in this video is HTML heading element. And we will discuss some important things related to heading element. Heading in HTML is defined by H tag. And there are six different heading labels we have in HTML. As you can see on the screen, from label 1 to label 6, H tag is pair tag. That means it has an opening and a closing. Let's now run this file in the browser and check the output. Here you can see the headings of different sizes. H1 is the highest level while the H6 is the lowest one. Now creating headings in HTML is quite simple. You choose a label and then mark up the content. But there are some important things that you need to know while working with headings. You actually can't choose any label you like. Instead, you have to make a wise decision. These six labels have different values. The H1 is the most important. It is considered to be the most important. And the H6 is the least important heading. The search engine like Google uses the headings to index the structure and the content of your web page. That means you have to be very careful. For creating a main heading or the title of your web page, you must choose label 1 heading that is H1 so that the title is considered important, right? One more thing that you need to remember here is that you will only use one label one heading per page. Using more than one label one heading will not result in an error, but it is not considered a best practice because it would be difficult for search engine to find out and index the main heading of your web page, right? Another common mistake that many people make is they use heading tags just to make text size bigger. And this is not good either. This should be avoided for the same reason because these headings have values and should be used wisely. If you want to change the size of your text, then simply use CSS font size property instead of choosing label 1 or label 2 heading. For example, if I want to make level 6 heading as bigger as level 1 or 2 so I can apply some CSS. Like 30 pixels. Okay, save the code and refresh the window. So here you see the difference. Okay, so use CSS if you want to increase the size of your text. Now in the end, one last thing that I want to lift here is basically connected to the screen reading and accessibility. Screen reading softwares basically jump from heading to heading and read the content. They usually start with the highest level and then read the next highest level and so on. So skipping the heading may create confusion. For example, I'm placing level 2 At the end. Now, if I run the screen reader on this page, it would read heading 1 first and then jumps to the heading 2 and then comes back to heading 3, 4, and 5. Right? So, you need to think of it in order to make your website accessible for everyone. So, that was all about the HTML heading element. I see you in the fourth part. Stay tuned and thanks for watching.